Hi everyone, Arjun on page today. I'm working in this uh, sketch uh, paper book, whatever, notebook. <laughs> and I glued down two, uh, two pages to, together and it's nice to work on it. Now I want to put some gesso on top because I'm going to use gelatos and I'm going to use a water soluble oil pastels and they need gesso without the gesso it's like it doesn't work now <clears throat> i'm gonna put the gesso just with a brush and if you want some well visual texture in the back then you use a brush and if you are using a hard bristle brush then you will get more texture and if you put um, a thick layer then you will have more texture if you are not interested in any texture then you just use something like a plastic card to scrap it off the page or even take a baby wipe to smooth everything over that's if you want a complete smooth layer of the gesso i don't care i'm just putting it as is don't care about the brush strokes that are showing and whatever will be will be sometimes i do plan and it's part of the page let me show you i think i have something nearby how it looks when you do um, a thick layer of gesso and even uh, do some marks in it to get texture okay so page is covered I hope I didn't miss anything yeah okay brush in a glass of water <laughs> here beside me uh, someone asked me how I, I clean my brushes and I just put them here until I'm finished and then I go and wash them so uh, here it is it's on the same this is the same paper as is it's just a sketch paper with a heavy coat of gesso made marks on it and then uh, don't remember what uh, paint I've used and it's shiny only because I used some uh, water-based uh, varnish that's it so uh, you can see you can do a lot of texture on the gesso okay so I'm gonna uh, give this a uh, blast from my heat tool it needs to be completely dry before we use anything on it like the gelatos uh, so I'll be back okay so this is dry now I've got the Faber Castell gelatos I've got something similar from Stadler I've got these ones that someone sent me a long time ago in happy mail the same thing I even got something from the cheap store <laughs> And I've got the water soluble oil pastels that basically they do the same. So I'm just gonna use the colors that I like. I don't really care which brand it is. And I'm gonna just play uh, on my page. And we just start with putting down some on the page like so. I don't end have a, a plan I'm just putting color in several places I'm a I think I'm gonna go with blues and I don't know maybe some purple and maybe magenta I don't know we'll see let's see this looks more pink than lilac 
never mind it will uh, blend with the light blue so let's put a little bit of it here and magenta I want magenta and I only have it in the uh, water soluble oil pastels so here we go This is quite random. I'm not really planning. <laughs> Let's see. I, re I wanted some uh, purple. I just don't want a too harsh, too dark purple. Okay. And, 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 let's see, as I said, just playing around, this is a lighter blue, so, and something is missing for me, I don't know. I want to give this a little bit of light so I'm thinking maybe I'll be brave and add yeah what's the worst that could happen yeah and 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 a little darker orange just here in the middle just because Okay, so I've got coverage uh, <laughs> and now we are going to activate it and for this I'm going to choose some soft brush. That's the only thing that uh, I like to use uh, to activate them. Some use uh, baby wipes and I like to just use a soft brush. Now I've got several <laughs> uh, colors here. And sometimes I like to blend them, sometimes uh, not so much. I'm going to start with the orange and I don't mind if it will uh, mix with this magenta. I'm not so, uh, not so much with the other colors. So I'm going to keep blending these colors now you can see my brush strokes and if it's something that you don't like then you can use the baby wipe you can uh, blend them or you can just do something like this it's up to you what you like now the magenta didn't take so much to the page but I'm gonna uh, leave it as is maybe I will go on top of it later and add some color more color so I'm switching to this a uh, quite pink and I'm Cleaning my brush just a little bit and switching here to this purple. I do let the colors blend a little bit. I don't like how the purple went uh, blended here, so I'll fix it later. You can always go on top or I can just take the baby wipe and wipe it off completely like so if i don't like it so it's all salvageable <laughs> you can fix it here i don't mind that the light blue is mixing with the pink it just gives me a nice purple
and from time to time you just need to clean your brush and add a little bit more water okay so here it's need fixing and let's take maybe this purple which is quite dark what I didn't want let's see if yeah after water it's quite manageable and now I'm just gonna go and tap a little bit just to blend everything you can also try and use a sponge lightly because you don't want the sponge to soak all uh, the color so that's what I'm going to do in the next few minutes just tap on everything and just so it would look more blended Well, let's see, not really, <laughs> not happy with the magenta, I really wanted it more prominent here, so I'm going over and well, let's do a little bit here also, yeah. Okay, taking a new baby wipe and going lightly. Okay, now we're talking. Looks better. And I think I'll just add a little bit of the orange here because I really like what's going on here wasn't careful, wiped it off and, and wasn't crazy about this section so I'm going over as you can see Okay, I think I've <laughs> meddled enough with this. I'm gonna let it dry and then we are going to continue. I'm back and now I want to add interest to the background. This is just the color now. I'm going to use a stencil. I'm using one of mine. This is just cut out of a boring a 12 by 12 never gonna do <laughs> something like this again straight to the loony bin and I'm going to take a baby wipe and move gently and just wipe a little bit now I don't want to remove it completely I just want a little bit and I need to switch on my uh, baby wipe I'm going very gently here I don't want to ruin what I lay down 
and I don't want to get back to the gesso just to add visual texture whoopsie moved never mind not that uh, important okay taking a new one because I've got mud here especially that I have orange and blue Okay, probably uh, missed some section somewhere. It's okay. I think I'll just do a little bit more here. Mm, and a little bit more here. Not really matters. It's just to add layers and interest to the back. I was gentle and in several places I was too gentle so I'm just checking out where I need to take a little bit more of the paint okay leaving it uh, like uh, it is and I'm going to let this dry and we'll continue Okay, this is dry. I want to do some stamping again, building up the layers in my background. I've got these stamps. I've bought them on AliExpress. I've got here Tuxedo Black Memento ink pad, permanent uh, ink pad. Okay, let's start with this. Again, quite random. Okay, next. I haven't planned it, I'm just having fun with putting down details that I like. In the back, I could have used any uh, stamp. I could have used butterflies, I could have used text, whatever you want to use uh, in the back up to you. You really don't need to have these stamps. Oh, don't like it. don't like it but it's not really a it's not that horrible so whatever and 
end and I feel like I need text <laughs> so I need to, go to bring some a uh, text stamp that I haven't planned on using haven't thought I will be using let's see okay some text Good enough. I've got enough details in the back for interest. Now I've got this <coughs> bottle with fine uh, nozzle. I'm going to put some uh, deco art black uh, acrylic paint. I'm using this because it's a uh, more runny. I will not recommend using heavy bodied acrylic for this and if that's what uh, you only have just try and add water and mix it even this I maybe I will need to add some water okay Let's see if it will work. Let's try here. Okay, it works. So, let's see. Now I don't want to put my hand in it because I will. I'm talented like that. If there is some paint laying around, my hand will be there. So now I'm just gonna be very <laughs> loose about it. Yeah, something like that maybe. Okay, for the time being, I'm stopping here and gonna let it dry before I see if I need to add something more in terms of using this bottle and we'll continue. Okay, so I've let it this dry and then I sealed it because this is water reactive. I wanted to make sure it was staying in place a uh, cheapest way to do it is use the cheapest hairspray you can get your hands on uh, if not this then i used uh, this clear spray from the hardware store or the hardware aisle in the cheap store and the more expensive uh, option is just to uh, buy a fixative in a craft art uh, supply shop a uh, shop and I made this a uh, bird's uh, stencil uh, I want to put some here not sure uh, how it's gonna work because they are quite small so I don't know how much of the details it uh, will work we'll try I hope something uh, came out of it and I think I'm gonna put them quite randomly here I'm I've put some black acrylic paint here and I'm using a makeup sponge and I'm taking a little and dabbing excess so let's hope for the best basically with this little shapes that I've cut I could also take permanent a marker and just do it but 
let's try it first with this. Oh, good enough. Not great, but good enough. So, as I said, quite randomly putting some birds on my page. The birds outside are excited, don't know about what. I wonder if you can hear it in the background. Okay, more birds. Where do I want one? Let's put one here. Yeah. And... I've had a lot of questions. This one didn't turn out so good. I will fix it with a permanent marker. And okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, stencil some more of, uh, of this randomly here and I'll come back. Okay, so I've stenciled more <laughs> of the birds here and some here and then I just used the same bottle just to go around with this loose uh, line just to frame everything in and with a permanent marker I just wrote here looking for better times. That's it, that's my page. I'm leaving it be. I thought about doing something more, then decided that enough is enough. I'm going to bring it closer to the camera so you can see the details in the back. I'm quite happy with what's going on here. So, thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below. <clears throat> I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.